Hello, welcome to People in Perspective. I'm Rafael Garcia. Joining me today on this edition is Chicago House DJ and producer Ito Garcia. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. So my first question is, what is house music? Well, house music is a genre of electronic dance music that originated in Chicago in the early 1980s. Um, it's really an extension of disco music, 70s music. Uh, more hard-hitting, bass drum, uh, soulful, funky, um, and then became globally popular in early 1990s. Okay, so my second question is, from that, how um, did you get inspired to become a DJ? Well, growing up in Chicago in the 70s and early 80s, um, there's a vast amount of music on the radio, and the one that caught my ears was um, the disco, funky music of that time. And I remember being at, um, my parents taking me to this party. Uh, obviously, there was kids allowed. <laughs> the big uh, dance hall, um, big, big hall party, and there was a big dance floor. And there was a sea of people, I mean, just a vast amount, of sea of people dancing in unison. And I remember looking up at the stage, uh, and there's one person there, you know? Um, long table, sort of like this. I don't know what he was doing at the time. He was DJing. And I remember uh, because he had these two big uh, police disco lights, and I remember vividly. And uh, it was just magic. It was amazing how one person was making all these people happy at the same time. And that's when I wanted to be, I wanted to do that. And then after that, how did you get inspired to become a producer? Well, after DJing years, after many years of DJing and multiple hundreds of venues, you get a sense of um, what people like, people like to do, to dance to, I guess. And I guess the next, the next route was going to produce music. And at the time I had a friend who uh, worked at a, at a record studio. He invited me over. Uh, played around with the equipment, and uh, the rest is history. We came out with our first release in uh, our first release in 1997, and then in 1999 was my solo debut. And then uh, I see in you due have time, yeah, right here in due time. So obviously, uh, technology for DJing and producing has advanced ever since uh, when you were. Uh, creating music. Yes. So, how do you feel about the technical technological advancements in DJing and music industry? You know, technology is a beautiful thing, wonderful. It's amazing. Um, you think something is so new and so high tech, and next month there's something better and newer, faster. Um, as a DJ, technology should be a tool. You know. It shouldn't be a crutch. You shouldn't, uh, um, you know, you shouldn't on technology. Um, I think you should focus on your skills, your passion, your hard work, your creativity, and that's what yeah, it'll get you through. You don't. Technology is a great tool, but without those things, it's just uh, another crutch to me. And what do you find most enjoyable about DJing? Making people happy. Um, when you're up on stage, um, you read the crowd, play something, you make them happy. You kind of tell the story. An hour or two of playing music, you're kind of telling a story, making them feel happy, at least for that time. And do you have any current projects that you're working on right now? We're now um, currently periodically DJing on the radio. Um, and I'm also still working on music. And uh, I guess I'm going to focus my production now, for future productions now, because the music industry is so different on sync licensing. What that means is uh, making music for uh, TV programs, online advertising, um, TV shows commercials, you know, stuff like that. Um, tell us about like the radio stations that you DJ for. Like, the, yeah. uh, 
mostly urban, um, local urban stations. Um, periodically, I send in a, a mix and they play it. It's a great feeling. Um, great feeling of like the record. When I first heard it on the radio station, it's one of amazing feeling. You know, your creativity is out there. And, and uh, what are your future plans as a DJ and producer? Well, like I said, um, future plans include because the uh, industry is so, it's changed so much. And uh, there's only so much you could do making songs. So, like I said, I'm going to try to go into the sync licensing, which I said is uh, making music for commercials, movie, movie trailers, um, that sort of stuff, video games too. I'm going to try to put my hand into that. And what's your like, favorite aspect of the music you make itself? Favorite aspect? Yeah, favorite aspect. Um, just the way it makes me feel, the way it makes people feel. Um, just hearing it for the first time, hearing it a hundred times and it still feels like you're hearing it for the first time, that feeling. Soulful, funky, just makes you want to get up and move. And so all that is house music. That is house music. Okay. Thank you for being on the show. I'm Rafael Garcia, and this has been People in Perspectives. Thanks for having me.